everyone! I'm going to show you a little tip I use for drums. I use it in Addictive Drums, but it can be used in any other software. I'm going to focus especially in the snare, which is the most hard part of making it powerful and realistic. So listen to this test I made for snare testing. As you see, this snare sounds powerful but sounds realistic. And so, as you see, I have four MIDI tracks, all of them with the out set to addictive drums, but not in all of those four tracks sounds the same. So, as you see, in the first one, I have mute the kick and the snare, so we only hear the toms and the cymbals. So now I'm going to put the solo in this MIDI track, so you will hear it's only toms and footballs. And now in the second MIDI track I have the snare, but just the powerful part of the snare, the, the hit. As you see, it doesn't have too much tail. It has a lot of attack, but it's not too realistic. It sounds pretty good, but it needs something. So I, I have a second snare MIDI track, which is also the snare, but with more ambient sound. Now I'm going to put the solo uh, just in this second snare track, so you can hear it. And in the addictive drums of this track, as you see, I have the snare with mic set quite to the bottom of the snare. And now it only needs the kick drum, so it's the fourth track I have. It's just the kick drum. It has a little bit of EQ and some compression just for the attack of the kick. And nothing special because the addictive drums has, with the metal add back, has a really great kick drum by default. And these four MIDI tracks uh, are sent to this group track, which has a little bit of EQ just to give my personal touch. And I also have used the harmonic exciter just to boost some low and mid tones. And then just some stereo river, which gives some, some kind of ambience to the sound and it gives a little more of power. And now here uh, I have two snare tracks, as you have seen, and it's great because I can adjust the, the level of the strong part or the ambience part. So it's just a matter of taste, just looking for the mix you want uh, between power and ambience. We have to look for the right amount of ambience and reset it there. And then we do the same with the powerful part. We just have to look for the right amount of heat. The balance and levels of the powerful part of the snare and the ambience part is better than if we do this with the whole mix, not just the drums. Because if we hear just the drums, we hear a lot of reverb and a lot of ambience. But uh, the rest of the instruments will make the reverb and the ambience more hidden. And I know you are going to ask me for the preset for addictive drums, but it's useless because I I've, I've haven't used only the addictive drums settings. I have used external plugins, I have used 
eh, limiters, compressors, reverb, saturation, eh, in most eh, of the MIDI tracks I have used. So I'm sorry, but that's just the way I work. And well, as usual, I hope you enjoyed this and it was useful for you. And see ya! One more time! <laughs>